Hey guys and welcome to this video on Big O. So here I'm giving you guys a Big O example. And so what we want to do is we want to find out the running time of the following code. And I have the code in the orange uh, rectangle here. And the code is written in green. And we assume that the user's input is some arbitrary value of, of n. So you know it could be 5, 10, or 15. And we want to know the Big O of this code fragment here. So it says integer count equals zero, and then it has a for loop. The for loop runs from i equals one all the way to i um, is less than, or runs while i is less than or equal to n, and then i increments by one each time. And then we have a inner for loop, um, the second for loop within that the outer loop there, and it runs from j equals one. And it's going to run while j is less than or equal to n times n, and then j is going to increment by one each time. And then within that loop, we have a third loop. And it runs from k equals 1, and it's going to run while k is less than or equal to j. And then k is going to increment by 1 um, each time. And then we have count plus plus, so count's going to increment by 1 uh, every time this inner loop is ran. All right, so what's the big O of this code here? Well, just by looking at it, doing some analysis, the first loop runs n times. But I'm, I'm going to break it down to you guys, um, you know, using math of, of why it, it is what it is. Um, the second loop runs n times n times. So we have n times, and then we're going to have to multiply that um, by n times. So I'm going to just uh, get rid of this time here. So n times, so then we're going to multiply that by our inner loop, which is n times n, or n squared. And then we have our third loop that runs j time. So how many times does j run? Well, j runs n times n times. So this is the, the third loop runs um, n times n times as well. And so what is this? This is n to the fifth. And of course, this implies that um, our code is big O of n to the fifth power. OK, so now let's actually do some um, some math behind this, uh, besides just looking at the code and coming up with this rationale. So we could do that using summations. And what we see is our first loop runs from i equals 1. So I'm going to put summation from i equals 1 all the way up to n. So I'm going to just kind of erase this here. OK, so it's going to be all the way up to n. And then within that loop, we have a second loop that runs from j equals 1 all the way up to n times n. So I'm going to put n squared here. That's n times n. And then we have our third loop here. And it's going to run. Oh, make sure I stay in focus here. All right. Our third loop is going to run from k equals 1 all the way up to j. All right, and then we have some uh, some statement being executed within that loop, a constant amount of times. So now we've set up our equation to figure out the big O of this code. And let's solve this. So this is just equal to the summation from i equals 1 of n of the summation from j equals 1 to n squared of j. So our first summation just becomes j. And let me just move this over a little bit. OK. And this, of course, is just equal to the summation from i equals 1 to n of n squared times n squared plus 1 divided by 2. And you may say, well, how do you know, you know that that first summation just equates to j? And how do you know that this uh, second summation equates to n squared times n squared plus 1 divided by 2? Um, there are summation formulas that you can use, and I will be sure to put them in the description below, as well as links to other um, algorithm analysis and big O uh, videos that I have that you guys can check out for more examples. All right, so now, was this equal? Mm, look, I'm running out of room here, actually. 
So this is actually equal to uh, n times n squared times n squared plus 1 all divided by 2. Okay? So I'm going to erase uh, some of this stuff up here that we just did previously. And I'll erase that big O as well. So this will give me a little bit more room. And so now we're starting from the top here. I'm just going to multiply all this out. So we get, um, let's see, n times n to the power of 2 times n to the power of 2 is n to the power of 5. And let's see, that would be n times n to the power of 2 times 1. So that's n cubed. So plus n cubed and all that divided by 2. And make sure I'm doing that right. n times n squared, n cubed um, times 1. Yes. Okay. So this is how many times our program runs. And actually, believe it or not, this should be what count equals. Okay, and of course, if uh, if the running time is n to the power of fifth plus n cubed divided by two, then we take uh, the bigger exponent, and that tells us that this is big O of n to the fifth. Okay. And that's our answer. So thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please leave any questions you have in the comments below. Uh, let me know if you see any mistakes that I've made. It has happened before. Um, please leave likes and don't forget to press that subscribe button. And as always, guys, I'll see you all in the next video.